Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll show you how to crochet this easy poncho. You can follow the pattern and make this into any size you like. To find out the size, you need to measure from elbow to elbow, and that's how long your foundation chain should be. For this project, I'm using acrylic yarn. This is a number three category yarn, but you can use any type of yarn of your choice. Each one of these is about 250 grams. A five millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, yarn needle, stitch markers, and measuring tape. To begin the pattern, make a slip knot, insert the hook, and make a chain according to your measurement. One, two, three, four, five. My is 31 inches from elbow to elbow, and it has to be in multiple of five. So my chain is 140. To begin the first row, at the end of the chain, add two more chains. One, two. Now I have 142 chains. In the fourth chain, one, two, three, four. This one, place a double crochet, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And yarn over, pull through two loops. Again, into the next chain, double crochet. And double crochet into the next chain. Including the chain that we have at the beginning, we now have four double crochet stitches, two chains, one, two, skip two, double crochet into three stitches, one, two, three, two chains. Skip two, double crochet into three stitches. One, two, three. Repeat this all the way to the end, and I meet you at the end of the chain. At the end of the chain, with the double crochet into three stitches, in the last stitch, Place a double crochet, total four double crochet at the end, and four double crochet at the beginning, including the chain. And now we have a total of 140 stitches. To begin row two, one chain, and turn, single crochet into the first stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet, single crochet. In the two chain space, place two single crochet, one, two, and single crochet into the next three stitches. Then place two single crochet into the chain space. And this is the repeat for this row. And I meet you at the end of row two. At the end of row two, single crochet and single crochet into the top of the chain stitch. Total 140 stitches. To begin row three, two chains. One, two, and turn. This does not count as a stitch. In the first stitch, place a double crochet. 
Then the next stitch, that's this one over here, double crochet. On this stitch, place a front post double crochet. So yarn over, insert behind the double crochet post. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Make sure pull the loop all the way up. Yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. Double crochet into the next stitch. Two chains. Skip two. Double crochet. Front post, double crochet, yarn over, insert behind the double crochet post, and finish it like a double crochet. Double crochet into the next stitch. Two chains. Skip two. Double crochet. Front pose, double crochet. Double crochet. And this is a repeat for this row, and I meet you at the end of row 3. At the end of row 3, so I did a double crochet, front post double crochet, then double crochet into the second last stitch, and double crochet into the last stitch. It always begins with a double crochet and ends with a double crochet. To begin row 4, one chain and turn. This is an easy row, single crochet into every stitch. Place two single crochet into the chain space. Single crochet. Two single crochet. And repeat this all the way to the end. And I meet you on row 5. To begin row 5, two chains. And turn. Double crochet into the first stitch. Front post, double crochet into the next stitch. So we're bringing this post forward. Double crochet into the next stitch. Front post, double crochet. Two chains. Skip two. Front post, double crochet. Double crochet. Front post, double crochet. Two chains. Skip two. And repeat this all the way to the end. Wall 5 is very similar to wall 3. At the end of the wall, we still have 140 stitches. And I meet you at the end of wall 5. End of wall 5, front post double crochet, double crochet, then front post double crochet. In the last stitch, Double crochet. To begin row 6, one chain and turn. And place a single crochet into every stitch all the way to the end. To begin, Row 7, 
two chains, and turn. Double crochet into the first stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Front post, double crochet. So we're bringing this post forward. Double crochet. Two chains. Skip two. Double crochet. Front post, double crochet. Double crochet. Two chains. And repeat this all the way to the end. Basically, wall 7 is a repeat of wall 3. From here, we're repeating wall 3 to wall 6. And you can repeat this for as many times as needed. I stop when it measures about 25 inches. And I end it with a single crochet wall. At the top here, measure about 7 to 8 inches wide for the head. And continue the pattern on this end. Two chains. And turn. And continue the pattern to where the marker is. At the marker, I have a double crochet, front post double crochet, and a double crochet. And place a double crochet into the next stitch. Total four stitches at the end and four stitches at the beginning. One chain and turn and single crochet into every stitch. And we're going to repeat the pattern for a total of six rows. You can make more rows if you like, but I think six is enough. At the end of row 6, single crochet, 1 chain, cut yarn, on the other side, insert the hook at where the marker is, And this is a double crochet row, two chains, and place a double crochet into the same stitch. Continue the pattern, and we're going to repeat the pattern for a total of six rows. Repeat from the beginning to make one more piece. Once you have two pieces, place them on top of each other, then stitch the top together. Make sure the right side is on the outside. The way how I do it is the front loop, and this is the back loop. Insert into the front loop, then insert into the back loop, and back loop. Front loop, front loop, back loop, back loop, front loop. If you know a better way, please do so.
Basically, the poncho is finished. But now we're just going to work around the edge. And so you hope one chain and place a single crochet all the way around. There's no stitches to tell you where to place the single crochet, so try your best to keep your stitches evenly. After you went all the way around, after the last stitch, cut yarn, with a yarn needle, insert into the first stitch, then insert into the back loop of the previous stitch. This way, you will get a nice finishing look. Then within the tail. And now we're going to do the same on the outside of the poncho, all the way around. I'm going to start from this end. Attach a piece of yarn. One chain and single crochet all the way around. Again, there's no stitches to tell you where to place your stitch, so try and keep your stitches evenly. And that's all for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and the notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!